Welcome and aloha. I'm Mark Shklov, host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea program. I love to travel across the sea, especially to meet friends at professional legal conferences. Making those in-person professional contacts has been very meaningful and helpful to me and my clients in my law practice. However, because of this pandemic we've all been going through, I have had to cancel plans to attend legal conferences in Shanghai and Tokyo. My question, when and how are we going to be able to safely travel across the seas again? My guest is Wendy Goodnow. Wendy is the president of HNL Travel Associates and is a certified travel counselor. For many years, Wendy has been helping her clients realize their dreams of travel and adventure around the world. I've asked Wendy to share her knowledge and help us learn to navigate across the seas again. Welcome, Wendy. Uh, it's good to see you. Uh, we have up on the screen right now uh, something from your HL Travel website where you say, and let me read this. Even in an uncertain world, we believe in the allure of travel. It's still okay to dream. Travel provides the joy of dreaming, the excitement of the experience, and a lifetime of priceless memories. Now, Wendy, hello, how are you? Thanks, Mark. Appreciate uh, having that postcard there. That was actually something we sent to our clients about four months into this pandemic, just to let them know we're not giving up. Well, how, you know, I, I, I like the philosophy expressed there. And, and how did you, I mean, what is the basis for your philosophy about travel that, you know, it, it, it provides the joy of dreaming and the excitement of the experience? What, how, how did you come to that? Well, you know, I grew up in this business with my mother and, she instilled in me the desire to learn and absolutely everything you do traveling is a learning experience. So it opens your eyes to everything. You see how other people live. You should not go to some country and expect Hilton around the corner or the McDonald's down the block. You need to experience the local style. Learn about people and learn uh, and, and maybe make some friends uh, if possible, I guess, in these countries. And that may help bring us all together, uh, perhaps. And I guess that is that's what I got out of what you were saying. Um, you know, and, and I, I really appreciate that. That's been true in my experiences with travel. Uh, now, we've been going through this pan pandemic, this COVID-19 pandemic for over a year. What, what is the current status of the travel industry after we've gone through all these shutdowns and travel restrictions? Where are we now? What, what's happening in the travel industry, Wendy? Well, as soon as I tell you something, it's going to change. <laughs> I must get 50 to 100 emails every single day from a vendor, a tourism board, um, a friend telling us about the latest, sometimes not greatest news. Um, and of course, the minute I say one thing, it's going to change. I had that experience with a client personally last week, and it's a real challenge. However, with the vaccinations and things, we've opened up the world of thinking about travel. Hmm. Now comes the get out of our shell and really decide something out there, maybe down the road is, is appropriate. But a lot of the people I'm talking to now, they wanna to go tomorrow 
and they want to know yesterday it was okay. Okay, well, let's talk about today. <laughs> yeah. And and you know, what are the current rules for traveling into and out of Hawaii? I mean, what 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 right today? Traveling out of Hawaii, there there really isn't a rule. We we don't need to do anything to leave Hawaii. Um, residents have just been given a great reprieve. If you've gotten your vaccine here as of June 15th, you no longer have to take the COVID test on the return. You do have to upload your vaccine card as well as carry it with you because if they don't verify it before you arrive, you'll have to show it to the authorities at the airport. And, and I, we, we just had up on the screen uh, a, a document and that, that comes from your uh, firm, from, your, from HNL Travel, what was that? Mark, I took a trip with my husband to the Pacific Northwest last month and on the, in the process of doing my own safe travels return home because it was before June 15, I kept trying to figure out which comes first, the horse or the cart. So I literally wrote down every single step that I went through in the process because I was leaving my husband up there and he would have to do his own coming home a week later. So he had no concept of what to do or how to do it. So I li literally put it step by step. Now, just this week, I've added the white resident portion, but it's still a challenge getting that uploaded. Um, and when you upload it, they have to verify it to actually get you through the process. So, what, what, so yeah, so you tried to pre prepare uh, a step-by-step -step way on how to travel. How to do the Safe Travels Hawaii program. Okay, um, well, all right, well, what is Safe Travels Hawaii? What, what, what is that about? Safe Travels Hawaii is a program that the state has created that every time someone travels into Hawaii, they have to go online and fill it, go through the process, give them all your flight information. And then within 24 hours of your flight, you then have to go in and either upload your COVID test or upload your vaccine card answer the health questionnaires, make sure everything works to get your QR code that gets you through uh, the doors, so to speak, um, once you arrive to avoid quarantine. And so that's for folks coming into Hawaii. Correct. And the, this uh, documentation that you prepared, you prepared that for your clients also? I give it to anybody and everybody that I think is even thinking about traveling. Okay, so how, how do they get, how, how would somebody that, that's thinking of traveling, how would they get that from you? Or how would they find out that step-by-step that -step process that you-, that I, you I have it on um, emailable documents. Okay. Uh, I don't have it on my website as yet. That's a little more technical. Um, I think, it's going on to my Facebook. Um, okay. Soon. So, so pe pe people can, if they go on H and L Travel, or they could at, at least find out how to to uh, find that I mean, information. It's not top secret. It's on. Yeah. If you just Google Safe Travels Hawaii, you will find sort of the same information. It's just <laughs> not quite as technical or detailed as I put it for my husband to understand. Oh, I like that step-by-step -step process. Um, yeah. Now, in, in the Safe Travels, they also talk about uh, trusted partners. Who, what, are the, what is that? 
there is a list of trusted partners being where you can go to get a COVID test that they will accept. Um, there's a lot of Walgreens, CVS, um, actually, there are a couple of airlines that have set up their own program for testing. Hawaiian, in fact, has their own test site. And if you go onto the where, their website, once you're ticketed, you can put in the city you're coming home from, and it'll tell you exactly where to go. You can make an appointment. It's very simple. Okay. Well, uh... I noticed that a lot of these rules seem to require uh, computer competence. And uh, not that right. uh, what if you're not computer competent? What do you do? What, how, how do you, uh, how, how, I mean, do you have to just stay home? What, you call what, your what? grandkids <laughs> or your kids. Uh, um, get, get help. I mean, you get, yeah, you have to do it. Okay. Yeah. So you need to be on the computer. It, it needs to be done on the computer, and it's yeah. really a lot easier if you physically do it on a desktop type computer. Um, it's not as easy, especially on a phone, but once you've completed it, you can pull it up on your phone and it's all there, very easy to read. I see. So yeah, I mean, I, I'm just looking for ways to, to get us back traveling. Um, now, you, you mentioned that you and your husband recently traveled to the mainland. Uh, I know uh, that it was, you did both business and fun. Right. What was that experience like uh, compared to prior uh, to the COVID? The pre-COVID, well, besides the mask and, and yeah. sanitizing and, you know, we were kids, our parents used to always tell us, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. That's no different today. You need to be doing that more, more often than not. Um, a lot of people carry sanitizer. The airlines, when you get on the flight, they'll hand you a little handy wipe so you can double check your seat area. Um, they're very cognizant. I tell people, take, three or four or even five masks with you on the flight. Because what I do is I change the mask every hour or two because it put it has pressure points on your face that if you change the mask, the pressure points are different. Some masks are easier to breathe with. Um, I do know now you always need to carry some kind of paper mask. There are airlines that will not accept cloth mask now. Oh, okay. That's yeah. interesting. Good to know. In fact, Lufthansa in Frankfurt in their lounge will only allow you in with an N95 mask. Wow. Yeah. You have to check in advance a lot of these things, and in in a way, in a way, just you know, keep keep your area around you clean and keep yourself uh, free from uh, getting contamination. I guess is right. the best way to say it. Is yeah. that is yeah. yeah. Now, I've noticed from reading the newspaper that there seems to be a lot of a rapid upsurge of travel into Hawaii at this time, but I mean, and and after you know, there, there seems to be a lot of rules about coming into Hawaii, and you you know you've showed them to us and talked about them. Uh, now, but why do you think Hawaii is so popular now, now even with all these rules, the safe travel rules? Well, I think people love Hawaii anyway. People have waited a year and a half to come back. And with the governor allowing no mask out in public, that that tends to get approval from a lot of people that I still wear my mask when I'm out and about because I'm protected, I'm vaccinated, but I don't know about anybody else. So it sounds there's two factors here. One is that there's a perception 
that Hawaii is a safe place to travel and people like to come to Hawaii. Well, we have had a constant low count. I don't know if anybody really realizes it, but we have been one of the better states in terms of mm. being extra careful, although um, although our governor and lieutenant governor are often criticized about being too strict, I'd rather be on the safe side for a shorter period of time than having to prolong it because we aren't we aren't being careful. So Hawaii seems to be popular for those reasons. What what other uh, venues or locations or travel destinations are most popular right now at, at this period in time today? Well, I can tell you there's a number of countries that have opened up already. Um, the Caribbean is open, but you have to be basically vaccinated to get through the things you need to do there. Um, some depending on where you're going, and you always, always, always have to go online and look at travel.hawaii.gov to see comings and goings for Hawaii, as well as travel.state.gov for international travel. That's well, in, in, on the international so travel, where, where, I mean, where are your clients wanting to go? Where have they, Anywhere. I mean. <laughs> Anywhere. Uh, I know a lot of people want to go to Japan. I mean, I, I had to cancel a con conference there. Uh, a lot of friends there. Uh, it, 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 kind of like Canada, they're they're more controlling of the the tourists there. So right now, you can't go to Canada. You can't go to Japan. Um, you just gotta wait. I, I hate to say that, but. Um, Everybody has their own rules, and that's why I say you have to go online almost every day to see mm. where each country is at. It, it, it's just absolutely amazing. And when your clients, is that what they're contacting you about mostly is, where can I go? Uh, I mean, I, you, we talk about dreaming of traveling again, but they want to be safe, right? And so yeah. is, is that what you were finding? It, people are contacting you about is how can I be safe traveling? Well, a little bit of that, but more so they have in their mind, they want to go somewhere and mm. maybe it's this year, maybe it's next year, but they want to know yesterday it's okay. So, so for the travel advisors, it puts a lot of strain on wanting quick answers because everything changes daily and as soon as i get this get these rules down and i understand them they change them so we really and from day one i have never pushed people to go out and book something i just think people have to be very comfortable in what they're doing they have to be comfortable knowing that they've taken all the precautions that they need to take. And it's, it's partly my job to share some of that importance on keeping safe and well in the meantime. So really what you're talking about doing is, is providing knowledge and information really on, on a daily basis to yeah. people. And, and you can't predict the future, can you? I mean, I mean, my my wife and I would love to be able to travel. We're travel dreamers. I mean, we, you know, even on professional uh, trips where we go to a convention or I go to a law convention, but we'll then we'll take a day or so and uh, go like when we go to Japan, go to Kyoto. Uh, even though I've been there many times, I still love to go there, or or you know some other uh, uh, location within Japan. Uh, but obviously we're, 
we're not doing it now. I mean, even the, you know, it's questionable about the Olympics. Uh, if they're going to, like, we'll have, I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just, it's just, uh, how, how are we going to, when are, I mean, is there any, what advice would you give us? I mean, how, are we, when are we going to know? Or we, we just have to wait? Is that, I guess that's, that's the, that, that's the advice. You just have to wait and see. It, it's really a, a hurry up and wait game because although we recommend that you start booking travel to some degree, um, it, it changes all along the way. I mean, air flight schedule changes. You know, we go through the normal um, daylight savings time on and off schedule changes, but all these airlines are now having to bring more and more planes on, so their schedules are changing. Um, and it's pretty much supply and demand as to where they're gonna add on flights first. So, so you, you're, 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 you're providing information basically on a daily basis to your clients, but you know, and you talk about the airlines, and one thing we've heard a lot about the airlines is, is uh you know fights Mama. you know what's going on with that and, and what's being done about that i mean uh, I, do i have to is that another worry when you get on a flight somewhere that there's going to be a, a passenger unruly passenger and a fight or somebody trying to break into a cockpit what's all that about that's a lot of pandemic pent-up anger and angst and and unaware of um anxieties that people have you know mark if i knew i was going to get hit by a truck if i crossed the street i wouldn't cross the street but then i'd never go anywhere you know i i can get hit at home just as easily as anywhere else in the world <laughs> Ah, so there is some risk, no matter what, is what there's, you're saying. There's always going to be risk. I mean, look at what's going on anywhere in the world. Um, it, it's just tragic as to how people have taken things in their own hands because of their angst. Are, are there any are, are there any destinations in the world today where uh, people can travel to help reduce their stress? I mean, is there and a place where we could just go and not have to worry. And you see some advertisements on TV, but I, I don't necessarily uh, buy into that. But do you have some suggestions or some thoughts? Well, first of all, you can go Outer Island without any testing issues. Oh, and, you don't, okay. and you don't have to do the safe travel program for Inner Island anymore. That's a big help. Um, okay. I went yesterday to the North shore of our own island and rode horses. <laughs> and I can't tell you how restful that was. And, and so out of my, I mean, this is my office. This is my element five, six days a week. And just to drive for an hour and get on a horse, it was like heaven. You know, I like that. That's good advice. I mean, Hawaii, hey, this is yeah. the place. This, this is not a bad place to relax. My, our husband, home, our own my home. husband is hesitant now about international travel. Yeah. He wants to see the U.S. He wants to see America. And how many people ever think about that? You know, our own country. And it's got fascinating views and places to go and people to see that live a very different lifestyle than we do. So and I so, think go, that's go fabulous. Yeah, so so look look inward maybe in, in a in a way travel within our own home country yeah. in, in our islands. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, and you know as, as we are looking towards the future now post pandemic what 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 are you suggesting for travel advice uh, for safe travel? I personally can't wait to get on a ship. Huh? You, can, 
you could put me out over the horizon and I'd be happy as a clam. Um, but, you know, that's, that's sort of a test case we have to go through for a few weeks to see how well that works. Um, we, we've been assured by the cruise lines that they're doing anything and everything possible to make it a safe destination. Because a lot of times your ship becomes your destination. When you're on a ship with 4,000 of your closest friends, <laughs> that's a destination. Yeah, and there's been but a lot of it's cruising. It's the best way to travel. You unpack once. Um, they've they've re-sanitized all the ships. They've done so much, and they've gotten so much scientific information about cruising that um, I truly feel that that's probably a very safe place to be. Ah, so that's interesting because the cruises got a lot of criticism uh, for the spread of COVID within, within the, the that ships. Could have, that could have been anywhere. That could have been on a train. That could have been on a airplane it could have been anything okay now so cru cruises you think are are learning to change uh and be safe uh they, they have been on the water but not sailing for over 16 months now mm -hmm. and in the process they've had their own scientific panels of advisors to be sure that they're doing what's right for their clients. Hmm. I'm afraid it's just going to take one more incident and it'll they'll shut down, shut them down again. Well, that's good to know. Uh, I, I, I mean, I, I like to go on cruises too, but I, but just there's been a, some worry and concern. Uh, we, we have a little bit of time left, but what, how about hotels or uh, if we want to stay somewhere back little by little um they may be open but maybe they don't have all their rooms available um there were some hotels that shut down to do major renovations which was really smart because now that things are coming back they open up and they're top of the mark so if if uh somebody wants to travel they can contact you and, and get some advice on cruises hotels travel locations uh and you you want to help them with information you're not pushing anybody yeah i i i can't push people to go out and do something immediately but i can understand their fears and work with them to make it a win-win and we just put on your contact information on the screen. So there we go. There's your uh, H&L travel information. If folks want to contact you and, and maybe realize their dreams of travel again and some find, find some adventure, they can co contact you. Well, Wendy, I want to thank you very much for being my guest today. I mean, I'm, I want to travel. I, I and in the legal profession, I got to tell you, just traveling is it, 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 it is not it, it is it is beneficial to everybody. Uh, and from, in my personal experience, I've been doing it for 40 plus years and I, I just find find the benefits from it are great, especially in Hawaii, which we're right in the middle of every place and it's close to Asia, close to the United States mainland. And so uh you know it's meaningful to me i want to get back on it so thank you for sharing your knowledge and hopefully our dreams will come true aloha aloha thank you mark